I enjoy looking for Game Boy games that I may have missed out on in the United States that were released in uh, other parts of the world. So I got these two uh, Japanese games recently. Uh, this one is Parodius by Konami. Uh, Konami makes a lot of spaceship shooter games like uh, Nemesis and Gradius and their sequels. And uh, this is this is another another one of their games um, in a similar similar genre. Uh, this one being a parody, which is why it's called Parodius. Um, <laughs> I like it for two reasons. Number one, it's a little easier than their normal spaceship shooter games. I mean, I, I love these types of games, but I'm terrible at them. And it being a little easier is nice. I can easily, uh, you know, have fun playing it and get many, many stages into the game. Uh, the second reason I like it is because it's pretty hilarious. Uh, the music is lighthearted and goofy. The bosses are, I don't even know, penguins with giant belly buttons. Uh, one of the final bosses is a giant lady dancer. It's hard to explain. It's quite an experience. If you like these kind of games, I recommend it. I think this was released in Japan, of course, and uh, also Europe. But um, I don't know. It might even be... No, it's a different ROM. I don't know. I think the only difference in the Japanese and European release is the title screen. Uh, this one, Beat Mania. <laughs> so this is a music rhythm game for the Game Boy. Uh, I don't usually like... Uh, I don't usually get Game Boy Color games, but uh, it's backwards compatible. And since I like this genre, I did want to have something I could put in my collection <laughs> that is a music rhythm game. I love uh, Space Channel 5 and Dance Dance Revolution. And this is the only, well, I mean, this is the only music rhythm game that I was interested in that plays on the original Game Boy. The music that's in it is a, it's a Game Boy chiptune port of the original, like, pop and uh, rock songs from the, uh, from the original game. And uh, they, they really don't sound very good, <laughs> especially compared to the Wonder Swan version. Oh my gosh. If you look up a video of uh, people playing the Wonder Swan version, you know, another portable console only released in Japan. Um, the music in that game sounds incredible. But anyway, um, it's nice to have. I've barely tried it at all. I've never played a Beat Mania game, but yeah. Maybe it'll scratch that itch uh, for, uh, you know, music rhythm games for the Game Boy.